and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Today we want to talk to you about the Boulder County Fairgrounds and the pros and cons of staying there when you're in Longmont or Boulder, the air, general area. Yeah, the Boulder County Fairgrounds actually has a campground and you will need to enter uh, the, our, our GPS wanted us to enter the fairground somewhere else. You need to enter <laughs> it on the Nelson Street right at the uh, Humane Society. Yes. And you turn there at the Humane Society and then if you look you'll see the sign that says that there's a campground. And you come on down and there are some things that I really like. First of all, I like the fact that you get to choose what f facilities or what resources you're going to have. If we were here in April or May, we'd probably pay $15 a night just to have somewhere to park yes. and a free dump station. If you're staying here, the dump station is free. If you're not staying here, the dump station is $10. It is July. the middle of July, and it's, it's only about 5,000 feet. So we come down 3,000, and it's a bit warmer here. Not three, come down 3,000 from Texas. We come down 3,000 <laughs> from... Uh, where we were staying when we visited Rocky Mountain yes. National Park. But, yeah, it's been in the, the... The forecast is that it's in the upper 80s or in the 90s. And so, we're adding $5 a night to have electricity. We're actually in the area because a group from our church is coming up to help someone start a church. And so, this is part of a mission trip. And we found we're less than a mile from where sure. that group is going to be staying. And so... Um, we added electricity to ours, so we're paying $20 a, a night. However, we did not add water for every day. And you need to know about what to do if you want to add just like water to fill your tank. Right. We are going to be here a week. And so we paid for, we're actually going to be here a little over a week. We paid for four days with just electricity. And you pay for those up front, and then we're going to pay for one day where we have electricity and water. And on that day, we are going to fill the gallon jugs that we brought with us. We're going to fill our fresh water tank. We're going to use the water <laughs> uh, that day for bathing, dishes, etc. Honestly, at that point, we'll go around empty the tanks, yes. uh, the black and the gray tank, come back. And then the next day, we'll pay for four more days with just electricity. I happen to like the way that they've done it, that we have those options. And they say these sites are first come, first serve. I've seen some signs today where there's some sort of big event coming up and there are a few of these sites that already have signs posted that they're going to be occupied a month from now. But this has been, this is a perfect location for us. Yes. Now, some of the down uh, and and the people are very helpful there is a shower and restroom there at the office that machine takes cash it it is not an ATM it does not take credit cards it takes cash it does not give change and on that water day you have to pay for the water with a day of camping so you cannot decide I need water today because they only let you get water if you pay for a day of camping at the same time. And all of these places have the services available. Yes. Um, and the guy that works here is extremely helpful and yes. friendly, etc. And they even have cones up there so whenever we go to empty our tanks, we can put a cone in here that says that this site is occupied while we're because we've got a good site. Yes some of the downsides these sites we're fine we're a yes. seven foot wide trailer and our slide is small there are some large trailers here where they cannot have large slides out on both sides it will not work because it's just a slot for yes. you to park in we're parked on dirt it's packed down and we're what a yes. hundred feet from the road yes. I mean it's not like we're worried about that at all but you're slotted in. We happen to be on the end, so there is a picnic table here yes. and a tree. 
not every place has a picnic mm -hmm. table. There are no fire rings. There are no grills. This is not a campground like that. Uh, but this is a place where a number of RVs can fit in. And you need to know, there are a number of campers with dogs. Well, and some of those let their dogs run free. <laughs> they say that it's strictly enforced that they have to be on leash. Most of the people are pretty good about that, but we've seen one or two that have gotten off leash. I make sure whenever I'm taking Theo sure. out. Um, and then, like we said, the Humane Society is right at the end of the street here, and there are people, volunteers, that walk those dogs yes. down and back. Uh, we've seen horses over at the <laughs> arena, I think every night yes. we've been here. And so that's been kind of nice. Um, this was not something that was on our radar until we found out that our church group was going to be in the area. I wish there were more places like this. I do too. Um, literally, if there were on interstates that had something, a self-pay like this where, you know, you pay to turn on electricity, it turns on, you pay to turn on water, it turns on, you pay for a dump. Um, I, I think those places would be used. But this is here. Is $15 a lot of money to, play to pay to park in a parking lot where you have nothing? Depends on where you are. That's right. <laughs> um, we could easily make a day trip up to Rocky Mountain National Park and back. So, sure. no, it's really not that expensive. Um, it, like we said, it just depends on, on your perspective. Um, the other thing we want to mention is, I, it may be throughout Colorado, I don't know, but in Longmont particularly, from where we are, we rode seven miles today on sure. our bikes. I mean, we, we got kind of a later start. Sure. And we never gone much further. Yeah, we, we never got on a road. They have no. so many bike paths here uh, where parks, they have lots of small parks, yes. and they're all connected. And we went out to the little airport at yes. Longmont. You know, we didn't know where we were going. We were just <laughs> riding. Uh, we're going to go the other direction tomorrow. That was just one way that we went. And um, and so it is, if you're coming to this area, be sure and bring your bikes. Yeah. Uh, because that is a lot of fun. Yes. Um, but this is a place that, uh, you know, I, I honestly had read some pros and I've read some cons. I can see if you're looking for having a campsite, it's not what you're getting here. You're getting a slot. Sure. But it's a slot where you get to choose the amenities that you take mm -hmm. advantage of, when you take advantage of those. And, um, and and I know some people think we're just cheap, but you know what? Every time we save $35 or so, <laughs> it lets us stay another night or two somewhere else, or three or four nights somewhere else. And by the way, if you're just driving through and you need to dump your tanks, it's $10. Yeah, it's only free if you camped here. And we didn't know that when we <laughs> stopped here for a night on our kind of doing a scouting version before we went up and actually stayed at a national forest campground uh, up in the mountains. And we paid the ten bucks. We didn't know. Well, that was a lesson learned. We should have read more clearly <laughs> before we did it. But we uh, we're enjoying our time here yes, we and are. Uh, looking forward to another bike ride. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Two Tired Teachers.